showdown just finally dropped for content creators unfortunately the public cannot play till friday but it doesn't matter because i'm i'm the one enjoying it okay but anyway today's video we are playing with Neliel, aka the goat herself in my honest opinion she's a really cool solid character i think she's more of a counter more so there's a you know main focus is just straight you know DPSing, if that makes sense. Um, for example, her quick draw, her quick slash is, is ridiculously fast, in my opinion. What she does is she runs up towards the opponent, and then honestly, her hitbox range on this move is ridiculous. You can hit from someone who's like a, probably a good five to ten studs away from you, and it, then it will just you know give apply support armor, and you're able to um do a dish out a decent amount of damage. And you could combo extend if you're near a wall, and then you are able to M1 do a full M1 combo from it. It's a pretty solid skill, in my honest opinion. But where she really shines is her counter, especially Sanito Perry and the Cero uh, Doble, I think that's how you say it. Honestly, those main two are your bread and butter and, you know, against people who are, doesn't really know what they're doing against her, in my honest opinion. For example, you'll see it in the rank video or rank match I did. Uh, for example, her Sunita Parry, you are able to, uh, once you parry, you can power, I think you can parry everything. I'm not too sure on super or, uh, you know, those super moves or shit like that. I don't know if you can, but you probably could. I'm not, I'm not surprised if you can. But uh, with her Sunita Parry, you would, you know, they would parry TP to that, uh, to your opponent. And after you TP to them, they will, uh, you know, she knocks them back and, you know, dish out a decent amount of damage just for a counter. And then with Sunita Duble, you are able to take incoming damage and then she, what she would do is swallow it and then afterwards you could save it i don't know how well you can save it for uh someone else in the comment section can find that for me but after she swallows it you could uh use it again uh and then she will shoot out a serial blast and it does it it's really fast there's no wind up monster again it's a, it's a pretty decent move in my honest opinion yeah uh, i probably said this so many times i am recording this at 11 46 p.m I'm trying to get this video out for y'all um i wish they dropped it a little bit early but the devs i don't know if they have any time management but it doesn't matter the game is out for us and it finally will be her flash dive basically it launches you in the air and then will you know break super armor uh i think it does i'm not too sure but it, it does decent amount of damage you could combo extend off of it which is nice and then you know you could do a decent amount of damage honestly like i said she's a really cool character she's really different uh than the other nine characters that she did i think she has the most count out of all of them and then her mode is just ridiculous for example she has a pretty cool animation in my opinion and it looks really nice i like how it's simple so that, and i'm actually surprised they actually gave her like the horse model dude i was, I was surprised wow they actually added something like this in the game which you know she has the most unique looking one you know because she's a fucking sim Tar. But it, enough about that. So our first move is the Lanza, uh, Lanza Dora Verde. I think that's how you pronounce it. You are able to you know, impale them to a fucking wall, and it does stack multiple enemies. So you could uh, collateral somebody, and you know it will literally penetrate them. And it's, it, it looks fucking hilarious if you slice on across the map. But it dishes a really nice amount of damage. And then second move, which is Gamu. I think that's, I think how you pronounce it is Gamu's uh, charge, which basically is she does a little spin around, it launches her in the air, and then throws a spear right back at you. This this is a lot of damage. Like her mode is just ridiculously strong. And number three, Lenza and Bester. I don't know how you uh, pronounce it. You know, please bear with me. Y'all can make fun of me. I don't give a fuck. But uh, with that move, basically she runs around and then it does a, uh, a fast charge up, basically uh, ragged on your opponent. Um, it's not really crazy. That's the move that it does. And her fourth move, basically she points her spear in the air and does a huge amount of damage in the aoe area you know able to hit multiple enemies at once um it has super armor so good luck trying to get through her and then the most funniest part to me is after her mode is done she just turns to her baby self and, and you can still throw hands with it but you can only use that mode and you can't get it back i don't know if you can get mode again if you are that nigga in mode again maybe test it out but i'm not too sure Later, bro. okay so i am recording this the next day um, nigga, I was just too fucking tired and continue recording, but we are here. I am doing a voiceover. This is not me actually playing right now. So I completely forgot about this plan, but he's playing Vegeta, which honestly, I'm on a scale one to 10. He's not the best, but I was kind of dumb enough to jump right in between that. But I knew the Gallic gun hitbox is ridiculous. So I have to stay with him. But as you can see, quick draw is not a bad uh, move. I got to understand that I can't use both of my only attack uh, moves. I should usually use an M1 oriented combo with it. But the only thing is, Neliel is the only person I know that's not a really spam, you know, skill type character. You have to time your, um, you know, your counters and shit like that. Like for this one, I tried to counter, but I wasn't quick enough, you know. Maybe because I was sick that time, but who knows. But, but yeah, Vegeta has a pretty nice, uh, I would say he can really combo somebody, but not compared to the other DBZ characters. And this is what I mean by the kit box hits from God knows where. But it's, it's a, like I said, it's a pretty good skill. This right here, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Uh, then again, I almost like sold this whole stock. But I thought he was going to use the uh, Flash Breaker. But then again, I just died here. 
this is just still rookie mistake i'm still pretty new to nelio i still want to get better with her she probably my new like a new main for the new of the nine characters because it's pretty fun to use it's pretty cool to counter some folks into a combo but he was afk so i want to have good sportsmanship and not dash to him then again i did not counter there we go i did counter here with sarah Duble and i you know hit him back afterwards i don't know if you can hit that after the box they hit him in the wall but i know for sure that with that parry move it goes through everything parries everything and then again this you can see the damage i've done to him literally just three skills his whole bars are eviscerated and like i said it's not a bad her she's not a bad character she's really fun i like her modus all attacks fuck all the defense and parrying shit so that was pretty fun he pp beat me there which is actually pretty good here for him but i was still able to get the m1 off of him i missed the uh air combo um i stayed back i know i had super armor so i can strike him back at the wall i tried to continue but he still had m1 priority or not m1 he just took it he got it first countered that one then i was out of uh stamina this whole stamina system i honestly completely forgot about it it's it's the whole ag it's aggravating quite honestly going from playing shonen to this is really uh, skill issue in my part I'm, I'm really trash at this game i'm more just a content creator just enjoying the game you know i'm blessed and fortunate to have you know a good audience of you niggas being able for me to play but then again i counter him i did meet him perfectly and i end up doing a quick draw i try i should have down slam but i'm pretty sure my down slam was fucked due to my stamina bar but um i don't know what the fuck i be doing half the time i i, I can't even tell you my, my way my brain operates i I only think of like a one combo stick with that combo until I find another combo Then again the super armor. I don't know how my quick draw didn't hit him there But I know this one will eviscerate his super armor So flash drive is really good when someone's just throwing shit like that and it breaks it So someone's you know and I don't know if you can hit someone that's, that's in the air. That'd be pretty cool if you could I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can but um, This whole X dash shit is not as similar to Shona where it auto tracks you which is actually not a bad idea. I guess you can use it to, not, I would say run away if you say that. I tried to use the counter, but I guess my counter cooldown counted as if I used it, but it apparently didn't. But I hit him in the wall, continue the air combo. He evasive, I countered again. Um, I still have it, I can mode here if I want to. So I realized that you can hold and charge that. Like I, 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 I didn't know prior recording the her showcase, so you could hold it. I don't know how long though, but that was a decent amount of whole time. But Vegeta characters are so far what I've seen from Vegeta mains. They're more just a zoner more than anything. But this is what I mean. You can combo extend off of this. It, it's really good with M1 combos. And now down slam. He did dodge out the way. It's probably good if I use it off the wall, but not too sure. He molded right after I tried to up tilt him. Probably if I would have gone off quicker, I probably could have gotten away. But with Sui Vegeta, he's a tricky character to fight. I know that my counter is gonna save me. It's like my counter is perfect for mode scammers. But over here, I did get that Sinado Parry off, which did a decent amount of damage. I tried to use my Sir Duplo there. I know that for sure. But I guess I didn't pull it off in time. But I'm not moding at all, because there's no point in just mode v mode. Because I know I can probably. I just want to give him a half HP before I mode. So I was able to quick draw him there. It auto tracked him from that far. Try to douse them again. At least I'm blocking his characters. Parry that again. And then I know he's he's in a, in a pickle because he's half HP. Um, I didn't time that. I did use the Cero Duble thing. I probably could have timed it a little bit better to absorb it, but I kind of sold. But that would have been such a nasty hit because I would have Cero do it afterwards. And then again, like I said, quick draw or uh, fucking hit scan is just stupid. Like, I should not be able to hit him from that far, but I'm not complaining at all. But after you can see, I'm still going crazy with this character and it's still able to fight modes. And I, I proceed to consume his thing. I think, I don't know what happened there, but then again, parried him right after and still completely demolished him right then and there. I'm telling you, Nelio is a pretty good character. Um, she's pretty fun. I'm not really into just spamming modes like, for example, Bambietta. Just a shit fest, in my honest opinion. But right here, I wanted to get at least half HP and then mode right after. But look, look at the damage I'm doing to him. It, it's not even funny. If I was smart, I probably could have played him and then could see the combo. But I know I decided to mode here, which I did. And her mode is. I don't have to say too much. Y'all niggas know what the fuck they do. But. Y'all let me know if y'all like more of these voiceovers. Um, I probably have to get used to it. I'm kind of like 
I don't know, stage fight about it. I just don't talk at all during fighting clips. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section. But then again, with the super armor, just eviscerates this dude. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just use my three move skill and just charge at him and he's dead. Honestly, it was an unfair fight, but GG's though. But other than that, uh, that's the end of the video. I uh, hope you guys like and subscribe. You know, please share some. You know, support. I'm gonna continue making videos like these. It's fun, but I probably might make a video on every character because if it's not fun, I'm not playing it. That's 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 set in stone. But 50 likes.